We're learning new details about two missing U.S. Navy SEALs. A massive search and rescue mission is now underway in the Arabian Sea. U.S. officials reveal they went missing as part of an operation near Somalia to seize advanced Iranian weaponry bound for Houthi rebels. One commando slipped from a ladder while trying to climb aboard the ship. U.S. intelligence suspected of carrying arms, the rough seas knocking him into open waters. A teammate then dove in to help, but the intensity of the water swept him away too. Now both are lost at sea. Neither have been publicly identified. And while efforts to find the SEALs began, the rest of the elite squad turned to the mission at hand. The U.S. military revealed more Tuesday about what they found during the high-stakes mission, including warheads for cruise and ballistic missiles, an apparent cruise missile with a turbojet engine, propulsion and guidance devices, and parts used for air defense. U.S. analysis determined these weapons are likely the same used to launch attacks against the U.S. and its allies in the Red Sea, which would be a violation of international law by Iran. After the seizure, U.S. forces took all 14 crew members into custody and then sank the vessel, deeming it unsafe. The announcement of the seizure of Iranian warheads comes on the heels of Iran's ballistic missile strikes in both Iraq and Syria Monday. One missile hit a building near a U.S. consulate. Four people were killed and no U.S. personnel were injured. The aggression by Iran, the attacks by Yemen militants in the Red Sea, and the U.S.-led retaliatory strikes have created a pressure cooker of tension. Rebels have conducted drone strikes and shot missiles at commercial ships, with one missile hitting a U.S.-owned vessel. The Iranian-backed group from Yemen says the strikes are in response to Israel's war in Gaza and U.S. support of its war efforts. However, some of the ships they have attacked are not clearly linked to Israel, putting any ship carrying cargo at risk and throwing a wrench into global trade.